Hey, what's up everyone? Mr. P here with you today. and We're going to go over the cleanup procedure that we use here at the shop. So, the first thing we want to do is we want to put our projects and our notes away. So we're going to want to get our notes, grab our projects, and put them in our drawers. Alright, now that we've put our projects and our notes away, we're going to put our safety glasses away. So we're going to bring them over to the safety um, glasses cabinet and slide them on in here very nicely. Then, we want to put our tools away. So if I'm using power tools, I'm going to make sure to wrap the cords up and put them back exactly where I found them. Another thing to be mindful of is if you're using extension cords. If you're using an extension cord, don't just make a rat's nest of it and throw it back where it belongs. Take it back where it belongs after wrapping it up. Make sure to wrap it up in a way that allows it to be untangled or pulled apart quickly. Because somebody else is going to use it and how you put it back matters. Alright, so we're in step four. I'm using the foxtail broom to sweep the tables. I'm going to sweep the tables and everything onto the floor. It's alright, we're going to get it later. Make sure to also sweep off the vise, and in step four, we're also going to close our vices. Make sure that when you close your vise, that it's not hanging out to the side, but it's hanging straight down. And it's okay if the vise is slightly open when you do this. So now that our table's swept, we're going to look down and make sure that our stools are swept as well. Okay? Stools need to go on the tables. This is step five. Now we are grabbing our small broom. The small broom is used in sweeping strokes and it's used to pull the sawdust and material away from the desks. You can move the material into the aisles between the desks that we are going to get in a second with a different broom. Okay, now we will go grab our large broom to sweep the whole floor and the aisles of the shop. These are the large brooms. We're going to move through the aisles and make sure to pick up all the piles that we made with our small brooms. When you have a pile, like so, you are now going to take it back to the dust collection system. Step 9. Make sure that if you have large pieces of material that can't go in the dust collection system, that you go and grab your foxtail broom again and a dustpan and sweep them up into the dustpan and put them in the trash. Once you've sweeped the material to the dust collection system, you're going to grab your small broom again you're going to take it and you're going to sweep it over to the front of the system and then you will turn it on and sweep it in. Now it's important to remember that I did not sweep in large pieces of materials. I put the large pieces of materials in a dustpan and then put them in the trash can. Make sure when you put the cleaning materials back that you hang them or place them nicely in the cleaning area. Finally, it's the end of the class period and you can sit down and prepare to be dismissed for class. 